What's good y'all, Akil here back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys what sold over this past weekend on eBay. I have no Poshmark sales to show you guys today but I already shipped out some of the orders that sold on Saturday so I'm going to show you guys everything that sold from Saturday afternoon to about Monday Monday morning. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, as usual you got a bunch of shoes going out but I'll start with the clothing items since we only have a few of those. And here we got some Cremu shorts from Dillard's. I always tell you guys I grabbed these during their liquidation sale. So I paid about 2 bucks for these shorts and they sold for 25 bucks on eBay. I still got a ton of these shorts left in the inventory, a bunch of different colors and styles. And they're, st they're slowly starting to move a little better on eBay right now. So this was definitely some good profit and these will be going out first class today. Next up, we got this dope Harley Davidson t-shirt, and this isn't a vintage one or anything super special. This one is actually just printed in 2018. Some of the older ones that are more vintage, those ones sell for hundreds of dollars sometimes depending on the print. But overall, some of these Harley Davidson t-shirts, you can sell them anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks. So I shot up a little higher with this one and I got 20 bucks for this one. And like I said, nothing special about this one in particular, but I always grab these up if I can get them for a good deal. And this one, I think I spent two bucks for this shirt. So this was a really good deal. But always keep in mind, the older Harley Davidson t-shirts are usually printed on the shirt. So in case you come across them and you're not sure about the age, just try to find the date on the shirt. Now, the last clothing item going out is actually a pair of shorts from the brand Cool. These actually got returned to me a couple days ago and I just relisted these and they ended up selling again. So hopefully this time it doesn't get returned because of sizing. The last person said they actually just ordered the wrong size. And any time I get a return it's usually just a sizing problem so I'm kind of used to it by now I usually get anywhere between three to five returns a month simply just based on the sizing it just doesn't fit so I'll definitely do another video based on some returns because I'm expecting some more pretty soon but cool is definitely a really good brand to be on the lookout for I'll show you guys that logo again and I think I spent maybe two or three bucks for these shorts maybe five or six I'm not exactly sure but this one sold for 30 and it'll also be going out first class moving right along we got this Forza Motorsport 4 for the Xbox 360 and this one sold for 25 bucks and I grabbed this one up from the thrift a few days ago for 4 dollars this one I had to pay a little more for it because this one was brand new and see and I'm pretty sure they probably knew a little more about this particular game because all the other games they had in the store were brand new and sealed but those were only $1.99 so since this one had higher comps I still took a chance on it and I know video games are selling like crazy right now so keep that in mind if you guys are out there in the thrift you come across some games that are sealed I usually still just pick them up even if they sell for 10 bucks because I always tell you guys small profits add up speaking of small profits here's a hearts game from Radica and this one I picked up from the thrift for I think two bucks but they had a bunch of these in a bag it was like three of these radical games for two bucks so this is a really good deal i think this one ended up selling for 15 dollars. and the funny thing about this one is that i believe this is going to be going to a drop shipper because they asked me specifically not to put any um not to put the prices on the inside in terms of like the selling slip then anytime somebody asks me to do that it's usually a drop shipper so i don't usually have a problem with anything like that i'll just ship it out to the buyer as is without putting the the slip in there because i usually never put a slip in the bag anyway so just keep that in mind in case somebody's asking you not to do that they're probably just a drop shipper next up we got a pair of nike shocks enigma for women in a size 7 and these are really really dope in my opinion we still have a few pairs of these left and i grabbed these from the nike outlet a couple months ago so they're still they've been sitting for a while they're not selling as fast as i would have hoped to but at the same time we're still making some decent profit on these so i still have some size sixes and some size sevens left so hopefully these sell out fast and next time when I do go to the Nike outlet I'm gonna check and see if they have any more of these Nike shocks so I usually sell a ton of Nike shocks um, I just don't find them brand new so this was pretty dope to have some brand new uh, Nike shocks in the inventory next up we got a pair of Vapor Max 2019 in a size 10 and a half in this dope black and gold colorway and I actually grabbed these up off of Poshmark and I think I spent 50 bucks for these and these sold for a hundred on eBay so the good thing is anytime athletic shoes sell on eBay you save some money on fees so i made some decent profit on these and i was actually going to keep these for myself but at the end of the day i figured i might as well flip these because i don't need any more sneakers at this point so i'm always trying to source for things on poshmark because you could always find some good deals and i usually source on posh to flip on ebay this is something else that i had got from posh 
Poshmark and these I believe are 50 bucks. The seller had three different pairs of foam posits and I grabbed up all three for $50 a piece only because I knew I can get at least 100 bucks for these and I'm not sure how much these sold for. I know they sold over 100 bucks but as usual I'll put the screenshot up on the screen for you guys but these are the copper colorway and I remember I had these when they first first came out. I was in college when they originally dropped and of course the hype for foam posits aren't as high as they used to be but these were in a size seven and a half so i figured maybe some women might also be interested in these as well so i took a chance on these and this was actually the last one that sold i had a silver colorway a cranberry colorway and of course the copper and now we're all sold out of these and usually when it comes to poshmark orders people don't usually have the original box but since this one did have the original box i knew i can ask for a little more money for these on ebay so i bought them they had to sit for maybe two or three months but these are finally sold now moving on to the shoes we got a pair of cleats and i grabbed these up from ross i believe these are for women and these are softball cleats and i think i spent 2.99 for these from ross when ross first opened up they had a bunch of cleats and some shoes that were on sale and i grabbed these up for only 2.99 and they sold for 30 bucks so this one is a little too heavy to ship first class i'm gonna have to put this in a padded flat rate envelope but as usual i'm gonna remove the ziploc tags on this remove the sizing tags on the inside make sure i remove any pricing on the bottom with some goo gun or some rubbing alcohol and this should be good to go next up we got a pair of keen sandals and i grabbed these up from nordstrom rack when they had their 40 percent off sale a couple weeks ago i grabbed a ton of shoes from that store that's why i got so many vans and stuff like that these weren't in these i'm not going to say these were used but i can definitely tell that these were sitting in the store for a very long time because they had these deeply deeply discounted and i believe i paid maybe 12 or 15 dollars for these so this is a really good deal anytime i come across keen especially in the thrift store i usually do grab them up because they sell really well during this time of the year and of course the funny thing with these is the fact that they were a size 14 so kind of a tougher size to sell but at the end of the day this one sold pretty quickly and i'm going to ship this in a padded flat rate envelope because even though i do have the box the box top is actually cut off so i'm just going to throw that box out and put this in a padded flat rate envelope and save some money on shipping next up we got a pair of these adidas boost in it and these are just some skate shoes and i've been selling these like crazy we still got a few pairs left but this is definitely one of my best selling shoes if you guys are following the channel you guys see and that i'm selling at least one pair of these maybe four or five pairs of these every week so you should be sold out of these pretty soon but this is definitely one, one of my favorite shoes to sell during this time next up we got a pair of rock ports and these were in pretty good condition and to be honest i don't sell rock port shoes as often because the, the shoes itself don't sell for that much money but these were in really good condition as you guys can see and i believe these sold for 30 bucks and i spent 4.99 for these in the thrift store so certain rock port shoes i will pick them up because i know they sell pretty quickly for me as long as i price them right and this one sold within about two weeks so definitely be on the lookout for certain rock port shoes this one in particular is the signature series so i think that one might be a little more desirable and this one was in really good condition so always just keep those factors in mind when you're trying to sell rock port shoes next up we got some new balance running sneakers here these are also used and i grabbed these the same day from the same thrift store that i got these rock port shoes and i didn't even check the comps on these but i just wanted to grab them up because i think these were only 2.99 and they were a little dirty so i did have to clean them up and i might clean them up just a little bit more before i ship them out as you guys can see there's some small stains on here but these are the new balance 402 and i think these sold for 34.99 so this one i don't think these will be able to ship first class either this is probably going to go in a padded flat rate envelope but it is what it is these will definitely still make some decent profit after shipping in fees next up we got some more stuff from nordstrom rack sale when everything was 40 percent off in the store these vans in particular are really dope and they had a bunch more that i wish i grabbed up but at the time i think i was just a little more doubtful on selling vans because that's not something i usually do pick up to resell but vans are definitely selling really well for me i think i spent 17 or 18 dollars a piece on these and they sold for 69.99 so nordstrom rack is going to be one of my places to source for them a little more often as long as they have some decent sales and this would also be going in a padded flat rate envelope because as you guys can see the box top on this is ripped off so i'm definitely not going to try to ship it out in this next up we got a pair of these adidas pure boost and these are the pure boost dpr and i got these from marshall so i think i spent 20 bucks on these maybe it was 16 but i know i did I got these for a really good deal these were even cheaper than outlet prices for me so this was really good and they already had the box for this so this was really clutch as well so this one in particular sold for 69.99 and it sold within about maybe a week and a half after listing them i had two pairs of these and the other pair sold previously so we're all sold out of these 
So next time I'm gonna try to go back to Marshalls because I know they're gonna be restocking some of their stuff really, really soon. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And some of these shoes that's going out in boxes, of course, I'm gonna be shipping this out via pirate ship. So definitely keep that in mind if you guys are trying to save some money on shipping. I'll also put that in the cards in the description so you guys can learn how I save some money on shipping when it comes to shipping out shoes. But that's all I have for today's video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's go. First back in the day, and so I can't complain. So I can't complain. For all the times I pray, carnivores don't come take uh, Cause this pop and a pop of tunis, I can't salute it. They raising red flags instead of raising solutions. I'm trying to do what's best for me. Okay, right hands on the wall because it's destiny. First time I own with right hand, man, ain't nothing left for me. I left them, see, you can't hold me back like elementary. What's meant for me?